Hello there and welcome to another SOS reading. I hope you're doing well. If not, hopefully you'll do a lot better after the reading here. If this resonates for you, this is a general reading. However, it is someone's oracle messages. So let's find out everything that spirit wants you to know when it comes to your current situation here. Hmm. Gifts are unveiling and there may be something that's unveiling within yourself too. Maybe an enhancement with your own talents, your own skills, maybe some unknown hidden gifts, but there is something about receiving gifts and we may be, you know, daydreaming or being guided to, um, believe, right? Cause maybe there's something here where, We've got some type of exchange. Let's get a little bit more about daydreams. There may be a lot of opportunities up ahead here too with when it comes to having fun, connecting, engaging, however, you know, with, with a situation where we just feel a good exchange. Let's get more with this daydream worth. You're being asked to honor your worth. So you need to be in this place of envisioning, um, that you are worthy for receiving gifts, maybe miracles, abundance, compliments, friends, love. <laughs> Okay, so you're being asked to honor your worth. It can be so easy to feel that we aren't good enough or worthy of happiness. This simply isn't the case. However, you are worthy and you have inherent you have an inherent value. See? Your gifts. It's time to cherish yourself and to see your true worth. So this is what you need to just focus on. Imagine, daydream, feel it. Feel it in every part of your being because you are worthy of these gifts that are coming your way. I really sense star energy coming through as far as destiny at play. So we are in this place of getting to a, a point of re a renewal or a fresh start and something is taking off here. So continue to know your worth things. It's like, just like these gifts are piling up, you know, you are also accumulating something here where you just know you are, you sit in great value. What else? Yes, there's something better here. Know your worth. In fact, you know, I was getting the sense of the star card here and there could be another energy with that where, you know, you are moving on to better things or you're just really coming into a place of, um, some type of important rebirth within yourself, your situation. And, you know, the past could be at play. We could be kind of, you know, in and out of the past and the future here, but rely on spirit right now. There's something better. Trust this. And this is why spirit is saying to focus on your worth, your gifts, and things that are opening up for you as well. This is my kitten here. <laughs> He's so cute. All right. Um, let's find out what else you need to know about this situation. a year from now, there may be something right now that you are just getting comfortable with. Maybe new gives, um, some type of new opening, but something is coming to, you know, a full circle or feeling like it's coming to a completion or we're feeling more solidified, grounded in a situation, home life status, you know, whatever it is that you want. So give yourself some time here too. Let's get a little bit more with a year from now. He's just laying right on the cards. <laughs> oh my God. Ah. 
maturity. All right. <laughs> okay, let's get more though with that maturity. You could be manifesting a relationship or someone or your situation is coming to like, like a real good ripening here. And if it is someone, then you can count on someone mature. So maybe it's happening now and maybe within a year you're far more comfortable or maybe a year from now, you know, we get to a place where we're ready. Let's get more with that maturity. Memories. Wow. This is interesting. Because this is like the past here. Let's see what else. Insecurity. Well, there's going to be some new memories. Uh, there is something that is gestating here. You know, I, I really get a sense of like maybe four of wands, a sense of completion. Having a home environment or a place that you want to settle down in be just right, you know, for your phase in life. And we do have something that is incubating here with that security where we can build new memories. Now, there may be something going on too where we have some type of soul recognition, memories that are being activated as well here because maybe you even feel like an old soul. Let's continue. And, oh, well, let's see what this is. This kind of is on the... Um, you know, out over here. Look at this. I love it. <laughs> abundance. You're being asked to open to abundance. Yeah, there's something better. To believe that you are deserving of it and to believe that it will flow to you. This is that worth. This is the first important step toward receiving it. Breathe deeply and trust that it's on its way. So it's on its way. These are these gifts. Keep daydreaming about how worthy you are of, you know, better things, good things. And that's not to take away the past, but you're ready. You've come into a place of great maturity yourself too. And there's something that is sitting right or nesting or incubating in your heart, in your mind. And yes, we can count on cherished memories. You're gravitating towards more abundance and more abundance is gravitating towards you. What else? Focus. You're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working toward what is. Paying extra attention to where you place your focus is the first step toward creating um, an amazing life. See, these new memories. This is your new life. So give yourself about a year. I feel that you've stepped into a, a new experience, a new situation. You may feel, you know, not so comfortable at times. Maybe even inexperienced, uncertain, or uncertain, uncertain but that's okay. That's normal. <laughs> Focus on one or two things, but here you go. Focus on creating an amazing life. Okay. And you may have dealt with someone in the past year that wasn't so mature. Or maybe we are seeing something and reflecting something within our own self about maturity. What else? Hmm. You're being asked to celebrate a recent accomplishments, a oh, recent ac accomplishments, no matter how big or small, do something special to com uh, commemorate the moment. You deserve that and so much more. Look at all this stuff about deserving. And I was just emphasizing about you coming into this place of maturity within yourself here, your situation. And yes, see, you're gravitating towards, you know, things that support this newer energy, this mature energy. So celebrate. Oh, my, my kitty, my kitty almost was falling off the table there, passing out. Celebrate. You deserve uh, that and so much, so much more, something better. 
So do take some time, you know, focus on that. What else? Mm hmm. It, went, it gravitated right towards uh, there's something better, and it's the caution card. I even kind of sense Seven of Cups with that daydream. It, only where maybe, you know what I'm getting, is Seven of Cups and Justice actually between the two. Water sign is coming through, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also, Libra is associated with the Justice card. I'm getting these energetically, I'm just saying the Zodiac signs. Uh, so take it if you want to. Don't worry if it doesn't resonate with you. Uh, cause we're not working with tarot today, but, um, they do come through. Yeah. Caution. There's something better, you know, um, what was I just talking about? Oh, the justice with that seven of cups. So there may be something here too, where we could be tempted or we are, you know, we might not be focused on the right thing <laughs> or things perhaps cause we may be impatient, um, or trying to get an answer quickly. Um, but there may be something that you are seeing red flags or you're, you know, being cautioned to take something slow. So do, don't overlook this. You know, it landed on there's something better. So I just feel that maybe temptation could be at play or could lead astray. What's the advice for the uh, caution? What's the advice? Bravery, you're being asked to make a tough decision that you've been putting off because of fear, which is understandable, but you do have the strength and the bravery to make this decision and you will feel so much lighter when you do. See, I feel that there's just something that we are, um, you know, stepping away from or needing to, we're, we're, you know, I see, this is why I'm getting like justice. I'm getting the seven of cups. You know, you're standing in integrity or truth or finding out truth. And even the sense of high priestess, which is associated with Pisces, where you're intuitively sensing and picking up on something here, right? And a high priestess to me is very brave, very strong. She, whether you're male or female, but she in the high priestess is <laughs> making decisions based totally on intuition and being patient enough to wait for answers to receive whatever, uh, next, um, from the spiritual realm. That is a component that she knows she or he knows that they have manifested through patience, skills. What else? choose a new direction. Yeah. See, th th this is this whole thing about making this decision. Maybe it's just even taking your focus on, you know, something that maybe intuitively you feel that is a drag or pulling you in the opposite direction. So it does take bravery, but I do see success triumph. I also see, you know, signs, guidance showing you, you don't need to fear about the new direction if you do or feel hesitant. See, a year from now, it all comes together a year from now. And a year from now goes by real quick. What else? Yeah, that card wanted to stick too. That's the strings card. Um, I get um, like five of wands, five of, uh, swords with that. Okay. We may, there may be something here with a spy or, you know, <laughs> being watched out, watched over here. You are being watched over when it comes to being protected from outside influences that like to try to manipulate or know what you're doing. Um, because, you know, I was picking up that star card energetically, and that can also signify, you know, you feeling or being unattainable to others in a sense here, um, because you are taking care of yourself. You're knowing yourself, your self worth, your love, how much, you know, maybe you've given maybe too much of your power or you're reclaiming your power in a sense. 
um, and doing what you can with self-love, healing from the past here as well, especially if you felt a very controlling energy. And there may be some obsession going on here too with this spy strings or something, but you know, I get this as spirit is watching you, overlooking you, protecting you. And you may need to ask questions too. So if you're feeling hesitant about something, um, if you need more information, do so. I feel the spy card is also about getting more information, right? Because it's time to make a decision or face something here. Okay, what else? And I feel that these strings also represent you having a lot of control more than maybe you realize or more than you know, because this self-love is putting you in, in this position of power here. So maybe we're turning the tables in a sense. Communicate clearly. This might be a time that you don't want to um, hold back, you know, things that are necessary for you to express. Let's see, that landed on that worth too. You're being asked to honor your worth. So this might be something about boundaries and clearing up any, you know, misunderstandings. If that, if you resonate with that, I do get swords energy with that spy here. So there's, there may be, there may be a conversation that's, that's of great importance nearing here too. So let's get a little bit more about communicate clearly. Hmm. Recovery. And know you're in your power too. So this is all about, you know, again, I was talking about boundaries here. You know, we're doing what we can to recover. We're speaking our mind. <laughs> we're not holding back either, especially if it does, you know, give you some freedom and make you feel that you are, you know, stepping into more of your power without disempowering others. But I feel that this is all about you standing your ground when it comes to recovery, rest, what you need to do for self-love. What else? Ask your angels. Continue to talk to your angels as well. You have some time right now, you know, especially when it comes, you know, this is what I was talking about, asking questions, getting more information with that spy card opportunity. Ooh, ask your angels to show you, to give you the opportunity or to help you not miss an opportunity. Cause we may be up in our head about something here that we might, you know, get confused about an opportunity. So yes, there's an opportunity up at hand. Just ask your angels to show you, to bring forth because, okay, yeah, because I feel you guys are, yes, okay, so, hmm, making the right choice, you're making the right choice, uh, I feel that you may need to move away from something if it's too, like, if it's too shiny and, you know, too, oh, man, too quick to be perfect right all at the right time in a sense, you know, surface wise. And you will already know that energy because you've kind of been, um, you know, you've already been entertaining some of that energy already. What else? Peaceful resolution. I do see that there is something about um, some type of misunderstanding or something coming into a place where we have some type of peaceful resolution here. Be willing to communicate clearly and not hold back. I think that's going to be the key um, in the sense where, you know, because sometimes when we, when we communicate, um, we may even feel bad, not, not wanting to make another feel bad. Um, 
but there's something about you not feeling bad for your own needs, your own wants, you know, what you're willing to compromise or not compromise. So yeah, we have a peaceful resolution here. And have faith in your ability to communicate clearly, even if it feels like it's on demand. <laughs> even if your voice cracks or shake, do it anyways. What else? Oh boy, those cards came shooting out when I was grabbing these ones. Helpful people. I think we should look at these. We have fear, we have regret, and we have rejection. Wow, okay. This is, yeah, this is where we're feeling a little bit, you know, here we go, self-love, that strings. But we do have this thing about helpful people. There may be, the only hang up here would be, the only hang up would be not trusting again. You know, we've got to practice, but we, you, you can trust but maintain a healthy sense of boundaries here where, you know, you don't have to give it all or, you know, put yourself in a, a too much of a vulnerable state in a sense here, right? You can take things slow. You can come out slowly here, but we do have this thing about feeling rejected or maybe we're rejecting others, or maybe we fear being rejected. And it's like showtime though. I feel it's like your showtime. It's time to come out and step out on stage of your own life, right? People want to help you. You are moving it like moving up or, you know, like I'm getting that star card energy where you're rising up. Don't fear rejection. Don't be too sensitive to maybe others judgments or criticism about what you're doing, becoming, you know, evolving or whatever, or what's lining up to you. What else? You're worthy and meant for all of these, uh, gifts. See, we're waiting for something. See, there's something better. Take your time. Take your time. We're in this place of using our imagination where we can see love, be love, recovery. Because what was that whole thing? Oh, worthy. That, that daydream was all about worthy, focusing on worth. So it's worth waiting as well. You don't want to do something too quickly or maybe overcommit to something or someone right now. Because, you know, we got this thing about a year from now, letting things kind of fall into place. What else? And, you know, there's a message coming through for you that, you know, spirit is giving you your angels, your ancestors, God, Jesus, universe, they're giving you the best answers for right now within the next few months, you're going to see something happening here. Maybe an acceleration. Let's get a little bit more. What, what's important to know about this within the next few months? I'm sensing like something about three months here. Remain positive and listen to your intuition. <laughs> Is there going to be any more? Yeah, not, not the right time. Oh my God. See, remember how I was talking about spirit is giving you the best answers that spirit can provide you right now because things still are, you know, evolving, changing, forming. All you got to do though is remain positive. Listen to your intuition. Wait for another few months. It'll be the right time. But right now, yeah, don't overcommit or do something, you know, where it, you know, if you're may, you know, take on something that it may look good on the surface or, you know, whatever, whatever the situation is, because maybe it's just about having patience, knowing, yes, you are right. <laughs> Something is just not the right time because other things are coming into play. Different components, the pieces of your puzzle, pieces of your, you know, whatever is on your path here with destiny. Remain positive, trust your intuition because your intuition is on point. This is why I, 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 this is why I can see that you, you know, and can pick up when others are being mani manipulative or maybe even over demanding possibly just take what resonates. 
So there is a gonna there will be a shift here within the next few months. What else? That one wants to come out. Look for a sign. And I was also getting a message to not let others impede your uh, um, progress. Others may try to impede on your progress because they can energetically sense your star energy. Do you know what I'm saying? The star within you is shining bright because you are full of hope. You are full of love. You are a star seed. But we have to be careful about the places that we want to plant ourselves and grow. So spirit is always watching out for you. Spirit is spying on you constantly and others. <laughs> Look for a sign. Watch. What, you know, what, what would like, uh, what makes you gravitate towards something or what really catches your eye or what really, you know, when you hear something, what, it, when it hits you, <laughs> that, those are signs. The signs will always guide you. Let go. We might be obsessing about a fulfillment or just having a hard time letting go of something that, you know, can no longer keep going. And we do have this thing about memories, right? So this could be the six of cups here where we could be romanticizing the past. And that's also normal too. But you're guaranteed of something better. Now we got the, and we also have this thing about unlikely. Let's get more too. Because we have this thing about, you know, fear, we may even have something, you know, I'll, I'll get more about this because we may have something too about, you know, uh, something where maybe you already feel that might be off to, to commit to, or to make a choice on or whatever, you know, maybe it's unlikely to be fruitful. Okay. So let's get more. Um, let's get more with this unlikely. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 This is really strong. You got some powerful energies that are surrounding you too. You got powerful guardians. You got powerful um, healers too around you. So do not give in to the negative. Don't worry about, you know, it's like whatever you feel like the worst is going to happen. It's not big, happy changes. I see this as the will of fortune. <laughs> Remain positive within the next few months, you are seeing signs. So this is, this is will of fortune. You're seeing signs. Things are leading up to things here. Notice like repetitious signs, notice these synchronicities to increase its flow. What else? And it will also improve your intuition. Mm-hmm. It, oh, you're going to say yes. You're going to say yes to something or someone that's already secure and mature. It's balanced. It's positive. It is coming together. So this is a good sign that things are coming together the way that you want, that you'll feel good about, that you'll be happy about. And I see this thing too, that when you feel the impulse to say yes, you know, to this opportunity that you've asked the angels to bring you, do it, say yes. Resolution, whatever it is that you've been struggling with, it's about to be resolved. Wow. We even had the peaceful resolution, peaceful resolution, which I see as justice too. And I was picking that up earlier. So we're going to get things balanced here. So remember that resolutions don't always happen in the way we hope or want, but being able to move forward and start fresh always brings relief. That may just be it, right? Because when you can bring yourself a fresh start, 
you're automatically relieving yourself of the past. And I feel that you're relieving yourself of some type of past duties because I feel that you have really outgrown some old duties or some type of role or something about you having to tend to something that really is, um, you know, is kind of beneath you now in a sense. So I like this message here, this resolution for you. See, big happy changes. Just focus on recovery. You're not quite ready yet. There, there is something here that's ripening within your soul. You don't have to push anything because it's all, it's already in progress. All you got to do is look for signs and that's going to keep your momentum going, your motive, your motivation, your belief, also enhancing your ability to trust in your intuition. What else? Yeah. Continue to trust. You know, these are the times where all you can do is trust and it will get stronger. Your bond between you and the spiritual realm is only getting stronger and stronger. And I do see like this ascended master here, you know, uh, bestowing healing energies on you, your loved ones, your situation, your past situation, your future situation. Trust that if you've been held in one position where we may have felt, felt stagnant, it's because we're in this place of recovery, right? And ripening the right time. Okay, what else? And you are being given someone that you can trust as well. See, oh my God, it's true love. <laughs> An important relationship here. How it shows up is, you know, between you and spirit here, but be open to an intimate relationship, a deep bond here, true love. What is singing in your heart right now? Don't settle for something less or don't get, you know, don't get discouraged or feel because sometimes also like, I want to bring this up. Sometimes that fear can also trigger, you know, one to maybe even feel desperate, right? And go back into the past or a comfort zone. But you know, that's not going to be long lasting because the energies, the alignment has already changed. So even if we could go back to the past, it would be short lived, but you do have true love. So there's nothing more important than I feel than love. Love is important the energy of love. I'm not talking about being in lust or love with someone. I mean, it's love, the energy of love. It creates everything. It resolves everything. It heals. It empowers. There may be something too with healing frequencies, uh, music, or just music in general. But listen to your heart. And whatever feels good to you, just continue to love it, <laughs> to honor it, to wear it, to cherish it because as you do, you're continuing to sing the right musical notes here and it's bringing forth this really mature sense of security. What else? Oh my goodness, miracles. You're being asked to pay extra close attention to all the big and small miracles that have already occurred in your life and also to those that are currently occurring and are still to come. Miracles surround you. Be on the lookout for them. We just talk about those signs. We just talk about paying attention to those signs. And I felt very strong energy. I told you I could feel the energy is very strong around you. Woo, you got powerful guidance. This is the time to work with it. This is a time to harness that bravery, you know, to be in this place of not feeling alone, right? But feeling cherished by heaven, by the angels, even soul group. Miracle, see, trust. They're unfolding in your life. 
which will give you much peace. See, right? And we don't give in to the fear because it's unlikely to happen because you've got more energy going towards the positive than you, than you do the negative. So you've already outgrown or karmically cut out some type of old energy. What else? You got to be assertive. This is, I, I just really get this when, when we were talking about that recovery, you know, wherever that, that recovery communicate clearly, I, I really was sensing king or queen of swords where, you know, you do need to be assertive, right? Have strong boundaries for yourself. Know when, know your own limits or, you know, know to harness some type of self-discipline if you need to just take what resonates. I'm just kind of throwing things out there, but being assertive trusting that you can communicate clearly what you're willing to do, what you're not willing to do, or, you know, be strong, be bold, be powerful. You know, if you want to shut the door, shut the door, right? <laughs> so you can have a little privacy. What else? Nope, that's it. Okay, so I want to get a little bit more too with that be assertive, and then we'll get a little bit more about how spirit's helping you and what you have to look forward to uh, in the future. Let's get more to with that. Be assertive. Oh my gosh, get more information. Yes. Okay. This just flipped over. So that was divine. <laughs> that was divine for you. Yes. Get more information. <laughs> And then keep, continue to move forward. Ask for help from others. Look, be assertive. I just feel that you're ready to allow others to take on some duties or, you know, things that you have outgrown that you're ready to not take care of. Maybe there's something to, for some of you, to hire help, right? Not to feel like you have to do everything on your own. I mean, even things like, just for example, not saying that you're doing it, but like if you're, if you've always have had to do your own taxes, hire somebody else to do it. So you don't have to think about it. Do, you can be more creative. Um, you know, maybe get someone to come clean the house for you. If you know what, you know, I'm just throwing things out there. Um, maybe instead of having to go out and shopping, you have somebody else shop for you or do delivery or something, you know, you're just, uh, you're consolidating your time. You're learning something about consolidation. Okay. Um, now let's find out how spirit is helping you that you need to be aware of. Yeah, you're ready. Oh my God. Ah, this is so good and positive. It's like all of this has come to its perfect timing. So uh, absolutely spirit's helping you be ready. You know, you've, you've really done the work here. Remember this self-love is also connected to that, you know, celebrating yourself, all of your big and small achievements thus far. Cause this is you filling your cup up. Okay. There's another card that wants to come out with you're ready. You're ready for the success. You're ready to put all these lessons and experiences in, in the past into play now, but you're doing it in a more profound, wise, stable, and secure way where you're assured success because you know your stuff. Look at this improving health. <laughs> yeah. See spirits helping you self love, improving your health and being ready and prepared for the next chapter in your life, the next big thing, true love, something about security here, something maturing. Let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. Taking action. <laughs> okay. So meditation, um, brings answers. So in the near future, I see you, you know, meditating, con getting these answers from your angels, from heaven, right? Seeing these signs, getting guidance and not stopping, not letting anything stop your progress because 
there's things that are showing up and appearing um, that's only going to validate this path that you that you're on, your miracles. See, you're going to be taking action. You're because you're ready. <laughs> Spirit's helping you ready, putting all of these things to the test, putting it into use. And you're not stopping. You're unstoppable here. Okay, I feel like just getting a bonus card for you. And then we'll just close the reading. You know, anytime you're feeling down or out or feeling discouraged, or maybe you just want more confirmation and validation, right? Spirit's always going to do it for you. Always. Pivot. Sometimes when things aren't falling into place after trying and trying, it's time to ask yourself if pivoting in some way would be a good idea so that your life can flow more easily and effortlessly. How could you pivot even just a little bit? Remember, I was just bringing up some suggestions, but those, you know, about like consolidating your time in a sense, you know, maybe where can we pivot? Where can we change or maybe even be yielding here? Because it's all about letting life flow more easily for you, right? Being ready to receive your abundance, your worth, your miracles. All right, so I hope that this was helpful. Love and light.